Okay, a, a crash course, really very fast, <laughs> because I uh, may have uh, added the uh, Open BCI devices with uh, this BrainFlow uh, API, which can collect even more than um, Open BCI, uh, and so uh, they had an Android app, very nice, and uh, okay, there was a bug, uh, but he did help me, and so I really quickly within a. <laughs> Uh, well, an hour or, or about, so I so <laughs> want to show you here. Uh, so here now there's a folder, uh, BrainFlow, and here you can select uh, different devices. Uh, I don't have any OpenBCI, and uh, it's you need the Wi-Fi wi -Fi dongle. Uh, I will say uh, something on this later, uh, because uh, two, um, below three dollars should be possible. Uh, I can only take the, the simulation, so connect, and here we have, uh, for now, uh, only uh, the first four channels. I have to uh, increase my channels uh, to, to 1632 uh, to get all the channels, but now the ganglion, I think, only has four, so uh, right now, for you see, just... <laughs> first four channels uh, and yeah here it's um, the code uh, is only here that that's the only thing that I did need to to start it here and so right now I have uh, I would don't know the, the maximum here is uh, 255 and the about minus 100 I would need a uh, the maximum values and also the delta so what's uh, what should be uh, considered as not uh, an artifact but real EEG data because here is this uh, delta max that I use to allow a Fourier transformation and so here we uh, let's go here to five minutes so here below you see the alpha beta gamma delta and yes you can go to neurofeedback and uh, let's remove this one uh, delete here the template the sleep template uh, uh, let's add this uh, no yeah no yeah add it and I think uh, you can can modify it if you like but now you have two sections uh, with two minutes uh, different sections and if you would here activate speak then you would get the neurofeedback if you don't but here uh, check the neurofeedback then here you get these uh, graphs and let's fit it to the total and if you now click here on this uh, the alpha beta gamma uh, then you get um, for these sections uh, all the averaging over these sections and, and here now, now think you see here now you see that uh, two minutes two minutes have gone and so you're in the second section that's how to train these mind commands so look the video the previous lengthy video so here now you could change uh, these uh, different um, values of for, for these uh, five bands uh, to to the channel one uh, and here now could save this to the channel two uh, but that, that's, I just wanted to show you here yes uh, the data is here so and, and now if someone really it would be great if someone would have a, a ganglion board with a wifi shield and um, as I said uh, you would have here I guess yeah uh, select the ganglion with the IP address I guess it must be in the local network and, and the port don't know which port but uh, you should know and so first the disconnect and that connect it takes uh, about eight seconds yes uh, I did not have the time to add just another silly Android thread uh, to a handle to 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 put it in a, a worker thread so right now you have to wait uh, some seconds uh, so the program hangs uh, but yeah <laughs> synthetic connect uh, this could now. you see now yeah, you have the gap because I did stop it <sighs> and if you don't have a Wi-Fi shield and the Wi-Fi shield uh, is, is sold for $79 I think that's uh, <laughs> I will have, uh, I will rent 
on, on this open BCI price policy uh, anyway later. So uh, as far as I have understood, uh, this shield is nothing but ESP8. Uh, so you, you take this uh, D1 Mini, uh, very popular because it has micro USB and so you can directly plug in uh, and, and program it with the Arduino IDE. Um, you would need to the SPI uh three pins and uh, the the channel select and so you see here there's a for the site and ganglion uh this is uh documented which pins uh, have to be connected and you could simply uh directly take a mail header and directly with these five cables directly solder here uh on, on the, the d1 mini <laughs> so you see it's then uh there's uh you know so the firmware is also here so um, there are also here some definition files but they are also here uh, on, on the on the open wife on, on the github uh, now I have uh, turned off for recording <laughs> internet <laughs> yeah that, that's it so <laughs> please anyone who has uh, an open BCI device and the Wi-Fi shield, uh, please uh, download my APK. I cannot upload it uh, to the Google Play Store because I don't have the 64 binaries for the Muse and the inside. And therefore this APK can only be uh, downloaded from, from my nice site here. <laughs> here, that's, uh, yeah, this will jump up uh, if I upload it in a minute. And so please uh, try it, give me feedback. And it w would be cool to have uh, the open BCI devices uh, because they are maybe a bit more scientific than, than the news or, or the inside. Bye-bye.